Hey guys, hey, we are reviewing the crankshaft runout measuring tool for Harley Davidson Twin Cam and Evolution Big Twins. Uh, I'm recently was doing some work on my dad's Road King, and the uh, we got into the cam chest on it, and it looks like we had some damage to the oil pump and lifter some lifter issues and stuff like that. And before I went ahead and put a bunch of new parts in there um, I needed to measure the runout on the crankshaft and if you're doing work on your twin cam or your big twin your Evo motor you need to measure the runout on the crankshaft because you don't want to be wasting your time putting a bunch of new parts in when the crankshaft runout is bad so there's this tool this tool is available on uh, Amazon. I'm going to put the link down in the description. This is how it comes packaged when you order it. It's 89 bucks. Uh, consists of this aluminum plate here and a, uh, a dial indicator. And uh, I'll throw some video in here too of me checking the crank run out on my dad's bike, just to kind of show you what this, how this all works. And you also have this thumb screw here. So, I'm going to show you real quick how to assemble this. So, you're going to take your, your plate here. Uh, you've got holes here that correspond to holes on your uh, crankcase. You're going to take these two thumb screws and they thread in onto the crankcase like this. And your crankshaft is going to sit right here in this hole. Okay? It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'll throw a couple of uh, pictures in here as well. Then you're going to take this box here with your dial indicator. And you're going you're gonna to take your dial indicator and you're going to put it in this bore here. Now before you, before you mount this plate, I forgot to mention, the thumb screw goes in here. This is actually the back side. So thread it in, make sure you don't get it into that that's going to hold your dial indicator in place. So you've got this screwed onto your case, then you're going to take your dial indicator, you're going to stick it in this hole here, and you're going to tighten it down. It's real easy, just reach your finger in there, tighten it down, you're good to go. So once your dial indicator is in here, uh, it's gonna, you want it to sit on the crankshaft. And then once you have, you know, once it sits on the crankshaft, you're going to loosen the bezel here. And this, you can rotate your scale. So you're going to set it on to zero like this. You're going to lock your bezel in real, real light. Um, and then you're going to put the bike in. So you're going to have to jack the back of the wheel up on the bike. Make sure the bike's in sixth gear. Have both your spark plugs out. And then you're going to turn that rear wheel and you're going to watch this, this indicator. Um, looking up the specs on acceptable runout on a Harley crankshaft, it looks like we're at like ten thousandths of an inch. Uh, so that would be all the way over to here. That's, each one of these is a thousandths. I think your minimum spec for a gear drive cam is... Um, three thousandths of an inch so this what this does is it will ride on the cam and, and as it spins around it's going to show you the deflection in the cam uh, you know always do the research look up your specs before you uh, before you you know go by what someone in a video says this is more of a video about the tool uh, the tool is really nice it works good uh, the plate is really really I mean, it, it looks really good. Um, I put a straight edge on mine and just to make sure it was true and it's very straight. Uh, the dial indicator works good. Um, so yeah, this, that's my tool review on this tool. And like I said, if you need one of these, the link is in the description. And uh, this is really good insurance, in my opinion, uh, rather than throwing a bunch of new parts in a... And, and an engine that you don't know what the spec is on the crankshaft, I think this is a, you got to have one of these. So 
for 88 bucks. I think that's pretty cheap insurance.